Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. <clears throat> Today we will be making the adult wolf. So many of you have been waiting a long, long time for the wolf. So here he is. Yay. <laughs> the wolf is dedicated to Stephanie Hopkins and her son Jack. <laughs> so glad you guys love wolves. Hope you love this one and you enjoy making him. Okay. Um, I hope you work together and make him together and show me pictures either on Facebook or Instagram. Okay? Alright, so the adult wolf needs two looms. Okay? And you should look in the description of this video for the band count as to what you'll need. You can not only make a gray wolf, you can also do a wolf that's completely white, completely black, okay? So have fun with all the colors because, uh, you know, wolves come in different colors. In this tutorial, I will be making a gray wolf, okay? So the gray wolf has gray, white, and black. All right. So just so you know, this should not be your first project. And also there will be points in the video where I tell you to go back and repeat. But instead of um, repeating the same, I will have you repeat something symmetrically. Okay, so when, when I do the legs, it's pretty much just the leg portion. Because I have two legs already made, a front leg and a back leg. So I will be making one leg, one front leg with you and one back leg. And I need you to go back and make um, a second one, but it has to be symmetrical to the first. So if you don't know how to do that, just hold your screen in front of a mirror and you'll see what I mean. Okay? Alright, so let's begin. Alright, um... You've checked the band count, you have all your bands ready, you have your hook and your loom. Um, I have my loom looking like this, okay, so it's, I have six rows, um, the five here are forming an arrow pointing up. It's hard because I have the base pieces right at the top there, I'm actually going to fix that. Because base pieces don't usually do so well right at the tip of the loom like that. I'm just going to move them down a little bit. Okay, it's a little better. All right, we're going to start with the ears. Okay, so I'm going to take gray bands. I'm going to double loop here. And again. And one more time diagonally. I'm going to do that on the other side too. That. And then I'm going to cap off the end with another gray band, wrapping it around, creating four loops on the peg. So three, four. Okay, so I wrapped a band around that peg four times. Okay, so there's four loops. I'm going to take another gray. I'm going to double loop it. And I'm going to put it across these two pegs. Okay, now I'm going to take three white bands. I'm going to take my hook, I'm going to put them on my hook, and I'm going to wrap them around, creating three loops with them. So right now they're on my hook, I'm going to wrap them around once, twice, okay? So it looks like that. It's supposed to look a little bit tangled, okay, or twisted. Double loop another gray onto your hook and pull that onto there. Like that. And then put the two ends between these two pegs. Okay, like that. All right, we have to make a second ear, so we're gonna make that the same. So double looping our grays. and wrapping a gray, creating four loops at the end, double looping another gray, putting that here, grabbing three whites, wrapping them around your hook the same way we did before, double looping a gray, pulling them on, and putting the two ends on the two pegs like that, okay? 
and then we're just gonna loop. You should know how to do basic looming. That's pretty much all I do in my videos is the basic. Okay, loop up. Don't grab the horizontal bands, just the vertical. Make sure they don't break. Okay, and then I'm going to take bands of any color. It doesn't matter what color here because we're going to take them off eventually. And I'm going to go through <clears throat> the loops at the end, pull that random band through, and create a slip knot at the end. Same thing on the other side. Slip knot through all those loose ends there. take our hook and we're going to gently take it off the loom carefully. Okay, so we have our two wolf ears, okay? I'm gonna put them aside. And now we're gonna do the top of the head, okay? So we're gonna take two black. This is where we're gonna use this uh, portion of our loom. So take two black here, two black here, and two black here. And then I'm going to take two gray. Okay, and I'm going to take two gray here and here and here, here, here. here. This, these two, you can actually do black or gray because wolves actually on the corner of their eyes, some of them have like, like a little bit of black there. So I might actually do black there. That might be fun to do. So actually, I'm going to do these black instead. That's totally up to you if you want to do them black or gray. I'm going to do black. I think that'll be interesting. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do the eyes. Okay. So grab your eye color. I'm going to do yellow because wolves usually have yellow eyes. If you're doing a white wolf, it might be awesome to do blue eyes, okay? So I'm going to take my eye color band. I'm going to wrap it around my hook, creating four loops with it. Try not to get it to be too tangled up, though, or too twisted. Okay. You can't help a little bit of twisting, though. There's always going to be a little bit. And then take a black, wrap that around, creating four loops. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you see how the back is a little bit twisted, I'm going to take two of the yellow loops onto the other side of the black. So one, take the next one in line, two. Okay? So it looks like that. And now this is optional. Okay? A lot above their eyes, a lot of wolves have like white, white like, uh, like there's white around their eyes. So to mimic that, I'm going to take a white band. This is optional. Okay? I'm going to double loop it. I'm going to put it like that, okay? Then I'm going to twist it into a figure eight and bring it to the other side, okay? So it's, it looks like this, okay? So with a nice part of your eye with the white band twisted at the top like that. Okay, this is optional and it might end up looking like the whites of the wolf's eyes. And if it does, we'll just take it off. It's not a big deal. Okay, not a big deal. Now you're going to take two gray bands onto your hook and you're going to pull them all onto there. So first, 
the white, then the yellow, then the black, then the yellow, then the white. So pull them all in an order. And then we can place the ends of the gray bands. One end goes on that peg, one end goes on this peg. Okay. And then you can cut. <clears throat> you don't actually have to do this now, but just turn your eye so the nice part is facing out, okay? The sloppy part is facing into the head. All right, so let's make the other eye. So another eye color band wrapped around four times. Another black band wrapped around four times. Okay, take two loops of the eye color onto the other side of the black. Then take a ooh, double looped white onto this side, twist it, bring it onto the other side like that. Okay, so it looks like that. Take two grays. Make sure they're not stretched out. I have a bunch of stretched out bands because sometimes I reuse them. It's probably not the best idea though. <laughs> and just pull them on. And put the loops here and here. Okay. Cool. Yes, I'm drinking coffee. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take two gray bands and I'm going to put them, I'm going to make a triangle like that with them. Okay, so now you're going to take your ears. Okay, I have my ears. This is a little strange, this part, or it might be not strange, but a little confusing. I'm going to put one loose end onto my hook. So, not going through the tied bands, you want to go through the actual loops of the gray through the loops, not between the loops. Same thing on another one, so grab the other ear. Um, make sure it faces the same way. <clears throat> okay, so going through the loops of the other one. Okay, so I have one loop of each ear on my hook. See that? Now I'm gonna take two gray bands onto my hook and I'm gonna pull those two ends of the ear onto the grays. I'm going to wrap the grays around this peg, this peg, and you're going to spread them apart. And you're going to grab two of the four bands from the middle and wrap them around that center peg. So essentially it's the same thing as this, we just have the ears on it, okay? So it looks like this. Okay, I think that's how I want it to look. Yeah, okay. So we're going to leave it like that for a moment. Okay, the ears are kind of hanging off. I'm going to take a gray band and we're going to cap off the tip here, wrapping it around, creating four loops with it. Okay, now I'm going to dig down. I'm going to grab the top two bands, which are the eye bands here. Dig back down. Grab the next two. And then I'm going to dig down here, loop up here, loop up again. So I looped up to here, okay? It's the same thing on this side, I'm looping up to here. And in the middle, I can loop all the way to the top. Okay? Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to take, so let's start with this ear. Okay, we're going to face it down like this, okay? Well first, okay, look how I'm holding the ear, okay? See how it's, it looks like this on, on, your, on your thing. I'm gonna stick your hook through the loose ends on the other side, and you are going to lay the ear like down forward like this and wrap the loops around the peg, okay? Like that. Once you've done that, you can dig down and loop up that final set and back, okay? So that when you lift the ear, it'll look like this, okay? So it'll be lifted up, okay? Let's do the same thing on this side. So going through the loose ends here, laying the ear forward and wrapping the loops around the peg 
then digging down and wrap, looping up the two grays. So now it looks like this, okay? And yeah, okay, cool. So now you're gonna take, I'm gonna take three bands of a different color this time. Because I used pink here, I'm gonna use yellow now. And I'm going to do my slip knots with the yellow at the three ends here. And I'm going to lift this off. It's going to look a little weird, okay? It always does when we do multi-head parts. Alright, so the eyes, the eyes look really weird. So we actually want to flip them so they look like this. Okay, and if we don't end up liking the white in the end, we can always take it off on the eyes, the white on the eyes. Okay, this is just to kind of see if this works out, but I think it would actually look better without the white on the eyes, but whatever. Okay, we can take off the pink band, the pink tying bands that are around the ears. Just the pink, not the yellow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, great. So now um, we're going to work on the top jaw. Okay. So, where's my dude? Okay, we're going to use gray bands here. So, taking your gray, put gray in here, two at a time. So, two gray here, two gray here. It's always two at a time. I never do um, single bands when I do my projects, unless it's a double looped. We're gonna go down two more times. Okay, now I'm gonna double loop. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna double loop one, two, three, four times. So double loop with your gray. Here's one, here's two, Here's three, here's four. Okay, now I'm gonna take gray again, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put two here, and same thing on the other side, two here. I'm gonna go down once here. Actually, just kidding, I'm gonna put one here, sorry. Put two going that way. It's like a weird order here. <laughs> okay, and then two going. Put one here. Okay, and here. So these are all two bands at a time. Okay, I'm gonna put two here and two here. Okay, see how I did that? All right, now I'm gonna take my white. I'm gonna go two there, two there, two here, two here, two here, two here, two here. Two here. Okay, let's do that over here. So two here and here and here we're gonna go two going diagonally like that and two going diagonally like this okay um, okay now we're gonna take double looped white Here, 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 and one toward the middle here. So these these are double loop. One, two, three, four, double looped. Okay, I'm gonna do that here too. 
double loops here, double loops here, double looped here, and double looped here. Okay, I'm gonna take a black band for the nose and I'm gonna wrap it around this peg, creating five loops with it. Okay, we don't want the nose to be too big or it'll look like a more of a cartoony wolf. Okay, and now I'm going to double loop a gray. Um, like, make a triangle here. And here. And here, so these are all double looped. Okay, here I'm going to put two grays, not double looped. Um, hold on, I'm just checking my diagram. Um, nah, we want to double loop that too, sorry. Just kidding, double loop that. I'm, I'm doing a couple changes from the prototype, so that's why I'm not 100% on board here, but for the most part it's going to be fine. Okay. Um, these should be white. Pfft, sorry, guys. White. My apologies. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm totally like. I don't know why I put gray there. Sometimes their diagram doesn't come out right. White, sorry. But yeah, those are white. You don't want gray, because if you put gray, it'll look like he has gray spots on the side of his face, which we don't want. Okay, now we want two white here. And two white here. And two white here. And then two gray here. Double looped white here. Double looped white here. Double looped white whoa, here. Double looped white here. Okay, see how I did that? Now that's all correct. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna start to loop, but watch me because we're gonna stop at a certain point. So going under the nose, grabbing the top set of bands, looping over, grabbing the next set, looping over. Bottom set. I'm going to loop up the bottom up to here. Yes, up to there. Okay, up to this point. Now I'm going to loop up the side. And I'm going to grab the diagonals here. Up to here, okay. And then I'm gonna just loop up once here, okay. So looped up to here, here, and here. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, grab the two diagonals first. Up and once here. Okay, I'm going to take your forehead. We are going to flip it so it is upside down. Okay, it's upside down. The ears are facing down. See, it's either up here, now they're down. You're gonna go through the first set of loops here, not the capping band, not the capping band here. You're gonna go through the first set of loops here, go right between them, between the horizontal bands, and you're going to lay those loops right around this peg, the one we looped up to. Okay, so I wrapped it around that peg. Once I've done that, I'm going to dig down and I'm going to loop up the middle 
up to here. Lift the head, okay? So I lifted it, so now it's kind of right side up now. Here we go, one, two, three, okay. You're gonna grab your last, your last set of band, or your last column of bands on the head, okay? You're gonna count three sets. So here's one set, two set, three set. That third set, you're gonna go through the four loops, okay, like that. You're gonna wrap them around this peg. Make sure you go through the loops. Oops, loop up once. <clears throat> Same thing on the other side. So we're gonna go through the black loops on the other side here. If you did black there, you might not have. <laughs> then it would be gray. Loop up once, okay. Now we're gonna go through the next set of loops in line, which is this gray set on the side. Wrap that around that next set and loop up. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So go through the gray loops. Loop up, okay. Now we're gonna attach the three loose ends of the forehead to these three pegs. Okay, so this end first. Okay, once I attach that end, I can dig down and loop up those two, these two, okay, because they're on top, so I've got to find them first. There they are. Okay, those two, and then these two. Like that. Okay, now go through the middle set of loops. Wrap around and loop up once, okay, and then let's do the other side, so go through the loops, through the gray loops, through the gray loops, wrap them around this peg, dig down, loop up, whoops, the, the top two, okay, Now I'm going to grab another color besides this one. I'm going to go back to pink since I have yellow now. I'm going to use pink. I'm going to tie off the five ends. Okay, and now I'm going to carefully lift up from the bottom. Eyes might pop through the underside when you first take it off, but we'll just adjust that. You might be afraid that you're doing it wrong when you're not. Okay, so don't freak out. Okay. So now you want to pop the eyes through like this. Okay. Oops. There we go. So there is the top of the head, okay, and you might just have to adjust the eyes like the white got a little tangled here, but there we go. Hee hee! It actually looks really cute, I like it with the white. It actually doesn't look like the whites of the eyes, it looks like the white around the eyes, so I think I'm going to keep it like that. Okay, um, now you can take off the yellow bands, okay? Not the pink bands, I just put the pink bands on. You can take off the three yellow bands, and if you attached it correctly, your project won't come apart. Okay? Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We have to do the bottom jaw, okay? <laughs> More Wolfie. Okay, Wolfie, we're going to do your bottom jaw now. All right, so, all right, bottom draw. Okay, we are taking two, what is that, what? gray. Okay, we're taking gray, two gray at a time.
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take white. Keep looking at that one, two, three, four. We're going to go down five times with the white. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now I'm going to go, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to take two bands, two white bands going diagonally this way, and two going diagonally this way, okay? All right, now I'm going to take white two at a time. to here, and then I'm going to take two black here. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So two white, two white, two white, two white, two black. Okay, now I'm going to take black, we're going to double loop with the black, so double loop here, and here, and here, double loop here, and here, and here. Okay, go back to the white, and we're going to take two here and two here. <laughs> We're going to take two here, two here, and then two. We are overextending here to like that, okay? So instead of going from here to here, I'm going here to here, okay? Let's do the other side. Okay, now I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to take, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to take a white band and I'm going to wrap it, creating four loops on my hook. Then I'm going to take three white bands onto my hook, pull that capping band onto those three, reclaim the loops. And I'm going to wrap those six loops around this peg and turn it so the capping band is facing out like that. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Grab three white onto your hook. Pull that on. Reclaim the loops. Wrap around the other side, just like that. Okay, now we're going to do our horizontals. So we're taking two white bands like this and a double looped white here and another one here. Two whites here. Two whites here. 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 Now I'm going to take two black, two black here, and now I'm going to double loop black like this. So double looped black there, double looped black here, double looped black here, and I'm going to cap off the end with the black as well, wrapping it around creating four loops on that peg. Double loop a white here, and one here. Same thing on the other side, so we double looped white. Whoops. There and here. Okay, so it should look like that. Alright. Here we go. Haha. -ha. 
have your head ready because we are about to attach it at a certain point. Okay, so I'm going to dig down. I'm going to loop up <clears throat> first set of double looped bands. Loop up, loop up to here, and I'm going to loop up once more. So grabbing the two black from in here, looping those up. Okay, up here. These are the gums. Oh, this will break. Okay, that one almost broke on me. If they break, you have to fix them. Okay, don't don't leave broken bands on here. Loop up. Okay. Great. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in here, this side first. The two whites, loop them over. Go in here, grab these two whites, loop them over. Here, loop these up. Okay. Um, okay, and now I'm going to loop up twice more in the middle. So once, twice, up to here. We're going to make our tongue now, so grab your pink. And take the first pink band, wrapping it, creating five loops around your hook. Five loops. Then you're going to take a double looped pink onto your hook, pull that onto there. Reclaim the loops, so it looks like that. We're going to add another double looped band. Pull that onto there, reclaim. Now we're going to take two bands, pull it on, reclaim, two more bands, pull it on, reclaim, um, and, and two more. Two more, pull it, ooh, no, pull it on, reclaim, okay, and this tongue we're going to put right here. Okay, put the tongue on, and we're going to loop up two more times. Once, twice. Okay, my tongue is now attached. Yay. Okay. Grab your head. Dun -dun. Okay, so we are attaching the side here. Okay. So your head is right side up, okay? You see the white bands on the cheek here? The first set here after the double looped, okay? I'm gonna grab those. Four, I think those are the ones I'm grabbing. Let me just check my diagram. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, yes. Okay, so I'm grabbing these, okay? I'm going to wrap them around this peg just like that, okay? Then I'm going to dig down and I'm going to loop up these two whites and then make sure they're still around the peg, okay? If they come off, put them back on. Loop up these, okay? So it's like that now. And now I'm going to loop up once more here, okay, up to there. Okay, so here and here. All right, let's go through the other side. So the other set of double bands. Right? One. Three, four, I believe this is the set I want to go through. Okay. So. Yeah, so the same set on the other side. Okay. Now on the cheek, the part that comes outward, you're going to wrap those around. Dig down, wrap up. Whoops. Make sure the bands stay around till we loop all these bands. And dig up. Do this one. And then loop up once more here. Okay? So I attached the two sides of the cheek. Okay? And now here, I'm going to attach the next set of loops, okay? So if you pull on your head a little bit, you see this one that's attached here? 
Now I'm going to attach the next set of loops here on the outside, on the outside edge, the outside column. Okay, so go through these, wrap them around this peg, and loop up. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So we're, now we're going to go through these loops. I usually don't go through the horizontal bands in there. You see them there, but I don't usually go through those. Wrap them around the next peg, loop up. Okay. We can lift up a little bit from down here if we want to, to keep it from getting too uh, too tight when we loop. Okay, that's up to you. Okay, go through the next set of white loops. It's the last set of white. Wrap it around the next peg and then loop up those two bands. And once you've looped up those two bands, you want to make sure you get these two. So you want to pull the head forward and loop up these. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So go through the final set of white. Wrap around. Dig down. Loop up. And then grab. Pull forward and grab these two whites. Loop those up. To here. Okay, and I'm not going to wrap anything around those pegs, okay? I'm going to continue to go up. So now I have to find these two diagonals from in here. I'm going to dig down and I'm going to find them. Loop those over and then dig down and loop these two up. Okay, same thing here. So loop the diagonals, loop up. Okay, so now all I have left to loop are the grays, okay? But first, I want to attach the five loose ends. So I might want to lift a little bit more up from the bottom here to help me out. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm going to go through the first set here on the side, wrap that around here, dig down, whoops, hello, loop up the grays, okay? Go through the next set in line. Make sure you're doing them in order. Make sure you don't accidentally attach the middle set around the one that's not the middle, you know what I mean. Okay, go through the middle set, loop that around, bring that up. Go through this set, wrap around, loop up. And the final set here. Loop up. Yay! Alright, I'm going to take a, the other color now, so I'm using yellow, and I'm going to tie off the five ends here. <laughs> he looks so chubby right now, like he just had his lunch. Oops, I just double tied that one. I'm not paying attention, apparently. Okay. All right, and let's lift him up. Let's see how he looks. There's your cute little wolfy head. <laughs> His tongue's stuck in there, so I'm going to bring it out so you can kind of open him up and pull out the tongue. Come on, tonguey. Where are you? There it is. Kind of have fun adjusting it, okay? Haha, <laughs> there's your wolf head. Um, we can take off the pink bands now, okay? And there's your cute little wolf head, okay? 
Again, if you want to take off the white band here, you totally can without ruining the project. If you do, it'll look more like this, okay? But a lot of wolves have the white around their eyes, so that's totally up to you, um, okay? All right, so there is the head. Woo! All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on, making sure this thing's still recording, we're gonna work on his, um, his legs. Okay. So, let's start with the front leg. I'm gonna change my loom to rectangular. Sometimes when the rainbow looms are newer, they don't disconnect as easily. Okay. <laughs> you can see why I put this tutorial off for a long time. <laughs> okay, doing the legs now. So. Oh, well. Okay, legs. Okay, so the legs we're doing in two portions each, okay? So we're going to start with the front legs. So I'm going to start with white bands because we're going to do the underside of the leg first. Okay. So, one, two, I don't have two loose ends or one loose end. Yeah, two. Okay. Taking my white bands, I'm going to start up here, right here. Okay, I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six times. So, two, three. These are double bands. And six. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go down six times again. Like that. And I'm gonna go diagonally here. Go down. Like that. Okay. See how I did that? Okay, let's do our horizontal. So I'm going to take two whites at a time here. take a cap band and I'm going to cap off right here wrapping it around creating four loops with it. Okay. And now once I've done that I can loop the first two bands over and I can go all the way up. Oh by the way if you um you're going to want to make another one of these um you can make it the same way though you don't have to do it symmetrically um, you can just do it the same way. Okay. But you can do it symmetrically if you want to. That's totally up to you. It's going to end up looking pretty much the same. So, Okay, move up here. Yes, I go quickly. <laughs> okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to take random color bands as usual. I'm going to tie off this end. 
Oops, not like that. And this end. Okay, so you got this like white thing. Okay, you're gonna make another one, so make the second one. And we're gonna put the front leg together, so we're taking <laughs> two black bands. Okay, now we're gonna take a black and a gray. Okay. Now we're going to take two grays. Two grays again. Two grays again. Okay, so we went down with gray three times. Now we're going to take gray and a white. And now two whites, two whites, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, uh, two whites again, two whites again, two whites again, and then we're going to take four white, four whites here. Like this. Okay, now we're going to take two black here. Alright, black and a gray here. Then two grays. Two grays again. Two grays again. Gray and a white. Two whites, two whites, two whites, two whites, and then the next two whites we're going to go diagonally like this, okay? Alright, now we're going to take a black and a gray, and we're going to go here, then two gray here. Two gray, two gray, gray and white, one, two, three, gray and white, and then we're going to take two whites and we're going to go diagonally like this, okay? So it should look like that. I'm going to take a double looped black across these two. Okay, now I'm going to take two grays across these, two gray across these, two gray across here, and two gray across here. I'm going to take two white across here. Now we're going to double loop white. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna make our, the bottom of our foot now. So we're, we're gonna make the pull off. So I'm gonna take a white band, wrap it around my hook, creating four loops. Take another one, wrap it around my hook, creating four loops. And one more, creating four loops. Now I'm gonna take a double looped white that one looks like it's going to break. Double looped white onto your hook, and you're going to pull those three bands onto it. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to push that down on your hook like that. And then you can use your finger to hold the other loop, or you can put something through it. Now you're going to take two bands, and you're going to wrap them around three times, so creating three loops. So actually wrapping twice like that. 
I believe that's what I did. Okay, and then you're gonna take the other loops, wrap them around like that. Okay. You're gonna take two bands onto your hook, pulling them all on in order. Reclaim. Okay, now we're gonna take four white bands. Two, three, four. Four, onto your hook. Pull that through, reclaim the end. And we're gonna do that again, so four white bands. Pull it through, reclaim the end, and four white bands again, One, two, three, four, pull it through, reclaim the end, okay, and we are going to wrap them around this, this peg. It doesn't matter whether you wrap it this way or this way because we can always flip the paw, okay, so just wrap that around like that. Okay, and then we are going to dig down and loop up these four. Grab these two, loop them, go up to here. Okay, Let's go up the other column. to here. Okay, so I looped up to these two. Now I'm going to take my white thing, <laughs> whatever it's called. Okay, the capping band is on this in this corner. Okay, I'm going to flip it down like this. I'm going to go through the capping band and I'm going to wrap it around this peg. Okay, then you're going to loop up. Okay, then I'm going to lift it, so now it's attached like this. Next to the capping band here you have these, these bands that look like they're going diagonally. You're going to grab those, you're going to wrap those around this peg. Once you've done that, you're going to dig down and loop up whoops, these two diagonals. Make sure these stay around the peg. These came off, so I'm going to put them back on. And then you want to dig down and you want to loop up these two. Okay, and now I'm going to loop up one, two, three, four times like that in the middle. Okay, so now it's attached like this. So we're just going to attach each set of loops on the side as we loop up. So go through the first set here, okay, wrap them around this peg, loop up. Okay, on the other side, go through the set here. I'm not going through the, the horizontal bands, okay? I'm going under them. Okay, loop up, attach the next set of loops on the side, loop up, go through here, attach around here, loop up, next set, loop up, Next set here, attach, loop up, attach, loop up, attach, loop up, attach the next set here. Now I'm going to loop these and then don't forget these, okay? Do not forget these or you'll be sad. Okay, and then loop up this one. Oops. Loop up. Okay, I'm going to attach the loose end on this side to this peg. So wrap, make sure the loops go around the peg. Okay, and this side is a little bit trickier because we have to go through eight bands or eight loops. So you just want to follow your tying band through all eight of the loops. And then once you've gotten through all of them, you can check by pulling on it and seeing that the tying band goes through the hole. 
or that the hole opens. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Wrap around, loop up. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to take the other color, so yellow, and I'm going to tie off this end and this end. Now, before you pull it off, if you want to um, make it easier on yourself and do your other leg here where the space is, do it. Okay, and you're going to attach the other white thing to this leg. Make sure you make the second leg symmetrical. Okay, so this row is going to be here. Okay, and then it's going to go out like this and then in. Okay, make sure you do opposite. Otherwise, your legs are going to come out looking the same, and then you're going to realize when you put the body together why you did it wrong. Okay, so make sure it's the opposite. I'll show you once I pull this off what I mean. Okay, this I want to be careful because I don't want to snap anything. Okay, I'm going to take off the pink bands because I don't need those anymore. Okay, so when you do the leg, the other leg symmetrical to this one, it's going to look like this. It's going to be the opposite, okay? Make sure it's the opposite. Now this paw, on the one we just made, we want it to go this way, okay? So we are facing the paw toward the side where the gray bands, where the third set like comes out so it curves out here. You want to face the paw toward that side. So we can stick our hook through the bands here and kind of tug and that'll help the paw to face the right way like that okay um, see on this side I have it facing this way because the gray bands on this side since they're opposite are coming out this way okay so hopefully that makes sense I have my two opposite front legs and my head okay hee hee now we're gonna do his back legs Okay, so just bear with me because I have to do the opposite of what I show in my diagram here. And I'm going to need to grab more white bands, so hang on one sec. I just have to step over here. Here we go. We're taking two white bands at a time. Now we're doing the back leg. Okay. So I'm going to go. Do, 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 do. I'm going to start here. So let's see. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put two here. Okay. Two here. I'm going to go diagonally once twice, three times, okay, now I'm going to go down, oh wait, maybe not, just kidding, I'm not going down, I'm going across like this, okay, alright, now we're going to go here, 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 and here, 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 Notice how in these three I, I put an extra one at the top on those three. Okay, it's important. Okay, now we're going to cap off here, wrap around creating four loops. 
Now I'm going to take two white bands, bring them across here. Two white bands, I'm going to bring them all the way across all five pegs. Okay, all the way. All the way across these. All the way across these, and then all the way across these, okay? Let's loop this. So going under the cap band, looping these up. Let's go up this entire arm. Going down, looping these over, and then looping up these. Looping these, up these. Okay, time for my tie bands. Tying off, oops, all five ends here. You want to make a second one of these once we've pulled this off. So you have one for each back leg. Okay, so pull it off, make another one so you have two. Set that aside. Now time for the back leg, woo! So. Okay. Okay, we're taking two black. Here. We're taking two black here. We're taking two gray. Oops. Two gray here. Now we're going to take a gray and a white. And two whites. Like that. And I'm going to take two whites at a time. Here, here, and here, and also diagonally like this. Then I'm going to take four white, like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, um, yes, okay, so now I'm going to take two black, here, okay, two black there, now two gray, two gray, two gray, and two more gray, here. Now I'm going to take two gray, two gray, two gray, two gray, now a gray and a white, two white. Okay, now two black, two gray, two gray, 
gray and a white. Two whites, two whites, two whites. Okay, now we're going to take two black, two black, two gray. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Gray and a white. Okay, so two black, two black, gray and a white. Two whites, and then two whites the rest of the way down. Just like that, okay? Um, and you know what, these four I'm actually going to put at the end, so two whites and then four whites like that. Okay, it'll look better in the end that way. Alright, so, now we have to do our horizontals. Okay, so we're taking gray, two grays at a time. Um, except here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Went down four times. Okay, now we're gonna do switch to white. Okay, so now white. Okay, white. Now double looped white. Whoops, double looped white again. Double looped white again and again. Okay, we have to make our uh, the rest of our leg with the paw. Okay, so okay, grab a white band, wrap it around your peg. I mean your hook, creating four loops. Grab a second one, wrap it around, creating four loops. Grab a third one, creating four loops. Okay, double loop a white onto your hook, pull them onto double looped band, bring it down, put something in here to hold it, take two whites, wrap it three times around the hook, take the two loops and reclaim, take two more bands onto your hook, pull everything onto there, okay, reclaim the ends like that. Now you're going to take four white bands onto your hook, pull them through, four more again, onto your hook, pull them through, and four more. Okay, we're going to wrap these loops around this peg, it doesn't matter what direction you wrap, because we can always pull the foot in the right direction. And now we're going to begin to loom, okay? So dig down, grabbing the four. And right, loop up here, and here, and here, and here. Yes, I know I'm going quickly now, but I can always pause the video. Okay, um, grab your white thing. <laughs> Hold it so the capping band is on this corner, okay? Flip it, go through the capping band, and wrap it around this peg. Okay, loop up once, lift it. Now you can go through the loops here on the, on the corner. Go through this, or go over that peg. Now loop down, and we want to grab the two vertical bands first. 
and then these two. Okay, just like that. Now we can kind of loop up this one almost all the way. So I'm going to loop up up to here. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the next set on the side here. Next set of loops. Wrap around the peg. Loop up. Okay, let's wrap the next one on the other side around here. So wrap around, loop up. Now we can kind of loop up this one up to here. Okay, now let's loop up the diagonal here. Okay, now we can go through the next set on the edge here, wrap around, loop up this one up to here, okay, and loop up the next diagonal here, oops, okay. Now on the other side I'm gonna go through the loops here and wrap around here. Okay, up to there. Now I can kind of, I'm gonna lift a little bit up off the bottom so he's not too tight. Okay, that is always allowed, just don't go up too, too far or it'll come off. Before you're done looping. Okay, go through the next set, wrap around, loop up. Okay, other side, next set, wrap around, loop up. Next set here, wrap around, loop up. Next set here, Wrap around, loop up. Okay, I'm gonna lift up a little more. And we're gonna attach the final sets. Okay, so wrapping one around here, then going up. Wrapping one around here, going up. Wrapping one around here, going up, wrapping this one around here, going up. Make sure you go in order or it'll be all twisted. And then last but not least, this one around here, loop up. Okay, let's use our yellow or whatever your second color was for the tying band and tie off. Okay, pull it off, take off your pink bands. Okay, so that is one back leg. You want to make your second one, and you want to make sure it's facing the opposite way. So, the way you want your paw to face is you see how the white is kind of like this, okay? This side is a little more curvy. The curvy side, you want the paw to face toward the curvy side. You kind of tug on it a little bit. Face the curvy side, okay? Like that. And make another leg and make sure you make it symmetrical. So they're facing opposite directions, very important. And then at the end of this video, before you go to part two, you should have your head, your back legs, and your front legs all done. Okay? Yay! So exciting! Okay, hope you enjoyed so far. I know it's challenging. You can do it. And I'm sorry that I messed up a bunch of times, or that I changed my mind a couple times. Um, Sometimes that happens, um, but yeah, he's going to look great. Okay, so go to part two. I'll see you over there. Have a good one, everyone.